Hello guys. Welcome to Rusty Inventions. <laughs> As you know, I just need to check my my hair real feminine. <laughs> uh in the screen that <laughs> that I'm looking at. Anyways, welcome to Rusty Inventions again. Welcome to my workshop. Thank you guys. The channel is growing very nicely at a very good pace. I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm I'm, I'm really grateful. Thank you for that. Um thanks for all the likes, the subscribes, the the uh comments. Thanks for everything guys um, in my timeline this is now just before New Year's that this video is getting made um, I'm going on a holiday in a couple of days so uh, yeah tell you what I'm in holiday mode I'm not really interested in doing this uh, but saying that, I still want a video out. Uh, I've noticed in the past, if you skip a video, you lose touch very quickly with people. And uh, you know, you need that continuation. I think is a big word, guys. So I'm talking a lot of rubbish again. I can't remember where I was last week. Uh, oh yeah, I've turned that bush for the old uh, bearing, new bearing, uh, so that will fit in there nicely. I'll put that aside, that's where the bearing goes, it's halfway on the bush. Uh, I'm not going to really press that home, I don't think it needs much of a press. I would... Uh, need to put a bit of Loctite on there, like the Loctite I've said that's the only Loctite I've got <laughs> ah yeah I remember for jaw I need to set up set this up in the for jaw try and uh, dial it in uh, as good as I can so that I can make or turn the inside bore this out for the other bearing um, going in there and I really need to get that dialed in nicely so that that shaft will run straight all the way through that's a shaft as far as I got that um, there's two bushes on there that's where the bearings will run in on one in the front one in the back of course uh, this is actually on the front supposed to be uh, the back one i still need to make turn that out that's what i just talked about uh, the gearbox uh, guys there's bits everywhere and spare bearings of course i'll would like not to use all of them again um, so that I could use it in future projects uh, yeah I think I'm gonna start setting this up in the four jaw of course I need to change the three jaw for the four jaw oh that's just a piece that was on there last of course I haven't cleaned up the lathe I know it's bad on my behalf and I need to do it now seeing as I'm going on holiday uh, so this machine everything actually in here would be standing for a couple of weeks and I don't want rust or anything saying that it's oily it's very oily and that's good oil prevents rust so uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll set everything up and get you back in. 
So it seems like the uh, the voice or the sound on this have died down. So I'm doing a a voice over. Um, I checked the dial indicator, and it seems like I had a problem with the camera. So look at my hand there. <laughs> Uh, I checked everything and try and dialed in, uh, dialed it in as good as I can. And guys, that is probably as good as I ever had it. Um, I don't think I will get it any better than that. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. So going to stay with that, stick with that and hope for the best. Um, just show you that with that, that the needle is actually, the tip is actually touching inside the bore. Okay. So I've run the boring bar up to that shoulder there, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully. You got that shoulder there. And I've run the boring bar up to it. I'm going to set my uh, uh, stop, carriage stop. I'm going to set it to the width of the bearing. So I'll just use a bearing rather than uh, using something else to set it up. And I'll just put it in between, actually. That'll be good enough. There we go again, good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's my style. Uh, and as I have damaged stuff before, I'm gonna do all of the cutting, the boring, the boring job. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it backwards on the lead screw, so I'll push it out rather than uh, push it in, I suppose. Uh, I need to keep the bearing close to because I want that uh, diameter there, the outer diameter on the boring. Remember, I don't know if you remember, that hole at the moment where the shoulder is, is too big, the outer hole. So I need to, I want to go in and uh, I want to cut another recess there, just enough for the bearing. So uh, this is over an inch. So my micrometer goes up to a inch. So that's not going to work. I don't. I suppose I've got bigger micrometers, but guys, I've got dyslexia. <laughs> I um, I would really get confused with the numbers and just make a bigger mess than using the old calipers. So I'm just going to use a calipers like that till I get close to um, and then I could you know try it in. That's probably the best. So if I go you see there's only like a millimeter, maybe a mill and a half, one point, uh, let's say, 932 of an and thou. <laughs> uh, I'm talking rubbish. Oh my guys, I'm, I'm in a holiday mood. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I need to, uh, yeah, I just need it slightly, well, a, a millimeter overall, or just over a millimeter smaller than that. I know with my setup, let me just put this caliper safe where I don't break it, um, so I know I can run it up through the uh, carriage stop just bring that back in to the touch something like that 
Ähm. Yep, it's touching. So I'll run it into the carriage stop by hand. I'll put the lead screw in reverse, so pulling, pushing it that way. Really, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I'll get it to pull that way, and I'll start cutting this. Start boring it. Uh, I want to up the speed a little. And off I go. And this is at a very slow pace. Sorry, only now I noticed the uh the light on it was um, reflecting quite badly on the on the camera. I don't really look at the camera screen every time I record, so I might cut some of this out. That's very close now. I sort of just want to go in. Let me check with the, with the bearing, so the proof is in the pudding. I'm just going to blow this, blow this out a little. This uh, aluminium is quite messy. I haven't worked yet. You know, that's going to go. Because <laughs> it went in that far and I can't get it out. That's pretty, pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. That was actually quick so guys I just need to push that in I'll put a drop of Loctite on it and I'm gonna push the bearings in the block first because I've got a bit more play on the shaft side with them bushes so I'll, I'll take this out the forge or chuck and uh, I'll start pushing it in uh, and and of course I'll use the old uh, uh, hydraulic press for that because that will should push it nice and even I'll clean all the surfaces up so that the Loctite could grip I only want a drop of Loctite on there anyway so that's it for now let me move everything out of the way clean it up and then I'll get you back on pro probably on the hydraulic press Come on. So guys, you're right up close now. It's in the hydraulic press. You're right up close to the old uh, bearing block. I've put um, a drop of Loctite and just wipe it with a finger around is probably not the best thing to do. Um, and I'm just about to push it in now. Tell you what. Uh, and this top piece is actually what I used to make, make that, um, what's the name of, that, uh, and that went in smooth as pudding. So I interrupted myself. This hydraulic press work really well. I'm so pleased with it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I used to cut the bush out of and that worked really well it pushed nicely in guys quite happy with that so now I need to push this other bearing in it might even just slide in sorry you can't see what I'm doing at the moment guys it's not interesting at all. I have cleaned everything off and I feel actually this bearing might just just slide in if I'm quite lucky. Let me get it in front of you again. Uh, and of course I've wiped a bit of look at that. It just just wanna go. 
just not actually <laughs> doesn't matter we'll get the old hydraulic press on it or the new one actually I tell you what this was so handy or is, is something I made the hydraulic press that I'm really pleased pleased with it works so well um, I'll push that in quite quick no problem oh there you go I don't even know to push it hard and it's home okay guys the bottom drip bearings slide in quite nice let me show you that. that's my ugly mug <laughs> the other bearings slide in really well there's no grit on the bearing that works so you got bearing either side this bearing of course like I said it's sitting in a little bit deeper because on the uh, on the gearbox housing you got that little upstand of course it's it's way deeper than it's supposed to but that doesn't matter now uh, I need to start assembling the rest but this might be interesting because let me just get some of this sticky stuff off my hands now <laughs> um, you go the and you sit on the by the way I'm interrupting myself again you are set up on the uh, hydraulic press at the moment this here of course it's a drive shaft now this here I've got uh, the gearbox sitting in there so that slides or that bush there runs on the gearbox bearing which is inside then I've got the bearing is it race bush I don't know what you call these things the bush this bush will run into the bearing block and the other one on the other side so I don't have that much play on it but I can remember I said on the previous episode I wanna just roughen that out a little bit this shaft it's so smooth I don't think the Loctite will grip nicely on it uh, probably doesn't matter that much but you know if I can get the Loctite to grip nicely on it it'd be better because um, you know use the bearing rather than this as a you know as a as a bearing use a proper bearing for it uh, so I'm gonna just find a position of each one uh, maybe just roughen it out a little couple of spots with a grinder I don't want to over go over the top and then determine where I want this bush and I can mark it maybe do the same uh, that one oh, I can't fix any of them yet because the the housing needs to go on first remember this gear is very tight on there uh, and there's a bit of Loctite on it uh, I don't want to move that at all so at the moment I've got to do everything from this side okay let me look at what I'm doing and I'll get you back in when I got more information yeah of course I shouldn't lose focus I almost did it wrong and glue this glue this Loctite this whole lot together I still need to work the front down so it sits in the drive pulley at the moment you know it's gonna look really weird because this pulley is nowhere near to the machine it should sit in roughly about there maybe over a little and that's another problem I don't know where yet so 
I need to offer it up dry I need to get some measurements and then I need to determine where to cut this down to make that pulley fit over there well cut it down first make that pulley fit in position and uh, of course I need to re-slot that uh, key way in it uh, which is not even in here that's in a first attempt <laughs> the wrong one let's say that okay so I'm gonna go through the whole process again of doing measurements with the motor on the saw so I'll fix the motor to the saw measure a distance of the stick out because the motor still got the original drive shaft for the pulley measure that distance of the stick out of the shaft in front of the body then I'll uh, just dry fit as they say in the industry where I work dry fit no glue so or no no fixing of any sort I'll dry fit this lot together onto the machine and get some distances and determine from that what I want and I think I need to make a note on the board because I've got a scattered brain I've almost messed this up and this time around I think you know crying might be an option you don't want to see me cry I could always curse but like I said, I'm not that keen on cursing. Uh, try not to anyways, let's say that. Uh, it's easier than crying. But not, not the best way of doing things. Anyways, the image that I'm all about is not a softy, not a hard ass. Uh, I'm a Christian, but I'm a man, you know, I'm full of sins, don't look at my, my acts as a way, as a governing body, as a, you know, the way to draw the line, you know, I'm, I'm as sinful as anybody, and that's why I can't point fingers to nobody, and I can't judge nobody. Because I'm not perfect myself. <laughs> uh, anyways, like I said, I don't want to preach to you guys, so uh, that's it for that. This episode, or whatever, I won't be preaching anymore. <laughs> Alright, um, so, yeah, I need to set this up. I'm not totally sure if I'll do it on camera. I might just see if I can swing this over. Oh, there's a mic pickup fell out of up. I might have to heavily edit this slot. Uh let's see. the bearing block temporary in I only got two bolts in for the moment I put the bearings the bushes and everything in uh, not fix it down because like I said this needs to come out still I need to push that in hard I've got my measurements on the board of course there's my email address if you want to get in touch with me a side note <laughs> anyways um, so what I want to do now is I want to mark the well that's my idea anyway I want to mark where's my scriber 
here. I want to mark that position there. And then when I'm on the lathe, I can uh, work from that as my, uh, what's the word? I want to work everything from that line forward, seeing as all my measurements on the board are from the body. So hopefully I can work that out. Uh, I can turn this down so it's going to be that diameter. Um, just in front of there somewhere and I can chop it, chop it. So by and this will just slide out by uh, and that's my other problem by having the gear on and of course the jaws will sit on there I can fix it in a lathe backwards on this side to cut it but uh, get a center point in and everything will be difficult because uh, of course it'd be backwards in the lathe this side will be in a jaw um, so I'll probably have to set up that dodgy uh, what do you call it uh, now oh, I'll get to the word later on set up and the lathe um, just to hold this sturdy steady rest that's a word the steady rest set it up again just to try and drill that in the center not try I need to get it in the center so that I can turn this down to that um, and I have, if I have the uh, revolving center in there, that will help it from turning. Remember, the uh, lathe jaws will only grip on that little stub there. So, while working that far down, I need to support it, otherwise, it's not going to be any good. Um, and the shaft is not that thick so anyways I'll do that I think I'm gonna blue it out I'll put some marker pen or whatever on there just to mark it out to get some sort of measuring set up here I'll, get, I'll do that and get you back in so guys yeah, this setup is not ideal. Um, I really actually need to turn another bush on there because uh, it's too narrow for these to grip. Uh, the, the, the diameter is too small for these bearings to grip. Uh, so, that I could probably drill another hole in there. That might be an idea. Let's do that. Okay, I don't know how good is this going to go. Oh, we'll see. Hope for the best. <laughs>
I've determined where I want to cut it from. And um, it's not very running very good. So, uh, I'm going to go with the flow for the moment. I just don't have the setup. You see, if this was running very true, you wouldn't have seen partly blue. Ah. Now this material is quite tough. stupid to get that gear pushed on but <coughs> without the gear I couldn't get a proper distance and I'm just too stupid anyway to do a difference from that I'm sure I could have calculated it I'm not not clever enough for that Okay, so there you have it guys, the new drive shelf is in, it's, nothing is fixed down, I need to drill the center out, I need to thread it like the motor so that I can put, um, they only had a screw in there, I can't remember what step size it was, and I need to cut the key slot in it. That's what the vise was for, um, for the milling attachment for the uh, lathe. So I need to cut that in there. The key is in my bin somewhere. I'll have to search for it um, so that I can lock that pulley in. That's that. Then I probably want to. There's the old hole, the old where I fitted through the body. I think I'm gonna re fix the new bolts in there straight through the body so that I could fit it uh, fix it down very sturdy that sounds like a good idea I mean at the moment if I turn that you can see there is actually a little bit of a wobble in the old pulley uh, and that's because my steady rest setup very is very crude and as I said in a previous episode I've inherited with a machine I really need to start looking into making something maybe or buy one or something because um, that is just not good enough well anyways anyways I don't think it's going to matter much that wheel wobbles a little hopefully not I don't even know how much it will wobble I don't know if I can see it now but yeah so that's as far as I am now it's coming along slowly I'm still not very happy with that you know the rest was all fine Bar. This I messed up, and I knew I'm gonna. I was gonna. Um. I, yeah. It's the hindsight thing, uh, but I still don't know how else I would have found 
proper center I mean you could use a center radial square but that's never bang on or the way I get it normally it's never bang on so anyways um, got that now uh, next setup would be to drill that thread that and then cut the key um, I might be able to slightly shim it over or something to make it a bit better hopefully I'll get there anyways what I'm quite pleased with is with this spinning now that body there is not going like that anymore and with it tight on the body of the uh, pulley um, an pulley bearing block I could secure it nicely and this whole thing with the weight of the motor and the motor going like that I just knew that's cause for breakage so I'm, I'm very happy with this side of things um, I still of course I want to swing that over actually to the other side and have the motor down probably up, up a little but so somewhere in this region um, and fix a few bolts like I said through the body and that should do the job okay uh, I need a break I'm tired I've got so much still to do so guys I don't know how long this video will be but um, yeah I'm a little bit stressed out uh, still need to pack all my stuff like I said this is actually I made a lot of videos in advance by the time I get back from or we get back from holiday uh, I've got an operation so I don't know if that will affect me much but um, uh, yeah I'm, I'm just like I, I've got I didn't look at anything to pack yet for the holiday um, I don't even know if my swimming trunk still would fit I know my summer wear shorts and stuff because we're going to Mozambique and that's quite hot and South Africa itself is I mean it's opposite seasons um, that will be hot and all so I, di I didn't really look into anything yet um, I need to move the motorbikes and stuff the wife is still busy doing her last project so uh, she's got um, assignments and stuff to finish so uh, I've just uh, I'm a little bit stressed that's what I'm saying um, if I mean I already rushed a little and pro hopefully didn't mess up too much with this uh, and I know myself I'm just gonna make a huge mess so I'm gonna finish this video here um, for the moment that is what it is at the moment um, that gear box is temporary fit there I think I will close it up just so dust and stuff doesn't get in there saying that there's nobody probably going to get in here hopefully um, and just clean up and wrap up and stuff and uh, of course I'm going to say bye for now I hope you have a wonderful weekend this video will come out after we actually backed but it sort of give me a, a little bit of time uh, if I need time for recovery I don't know and uh, yeah God bless all of the best for all of you thank you